you could be looking at at least part of the answer to the Zika epidemic. Here they're called Sambo fish and they love eating the larvae of the mosquitoes who transmit the virus. Health worker Marielo Sosa found out about them three years ago while desperately searching for a way to stop dengue fever in the coastal village of San Diego. Since then, she started El Salvador's first Sambo breeding program. The fish are annihilating local mosquitoes. From 2012 to 2015, we've had great success in the community. We've had zero cases of dengue and now we're not frightened of Zika, thank God, because this fish is in control in the community. As mosquitoes have disappeared, so skeptical villagers have been won over. Marielos and her young team of volunteers now deliver the fish to houses and restaurants all over town. Even the village school gets a regular supply. There were loads of mosquitoes in the school, but now we have the fish in the tank so they don't come out anymore. Before, the children used to wear pants because they got bitten so often, but not now. Now the Zika virus is threatening El Salvador, the government is finally taking notice and wants to expand the program across a country which has suffered years of mosquito-carried diseases. They thrive especially in the water tanks common in poor communities. People not just in this community but really throughout Central America rely on stored standing water to wash dishes or clothes because there's such a shortage of it. But that does mean there's an ideal breeding ground for the mosquitoes in their very homes. The program is trying not just to keep mosquitoes down, but also to help the young volunteers stay out of trouble in one of the most violent countries in the world. 14-year-old Carlitos is the project's star Zambo catcher. This really helps me not to get in trouble and bad habits. I'm more focused and I can help the community. And the great thing about the fish, once they've got big on all the mosquitoes, you can eat them. They taste really nice. Perhaps it's an unfortunate end for one of the best hopes against Zika. John Holman, San Diego, El Salvador.